We know you as the caddy. This is a part of your past life, and it'll always be part of your life. You can take us through the bag of Patrick Reed, and with weather coming in, what all are we carrying around today to be prepared for whatever Mother Nature might throw at us? Yeah, thanks. As a caddy, this is the type of weather that's coming in. We see the sun out right now, yep. see blue skies and cloud, but we know what's in the forecast. We know what's coming. There are dark clouds kind of in the foreground, slowly moving in, and that means for a caddy, the bag's getting heavier. <laughs> And why is the bag getting heavier? Because there is a lot more stuff we got to carry around. It starts with the umbrella. People don't understand, these umbrellas, they weigh an extra two to three pounds. And where they're located makes the bag feel like an extra seven pounds. Now, thank you, Patrick Reed, who's getting ready to go tee off in just a little bit, uh -huh. was like, hey, you can use my bag and go through my bag. I'm like, all right, we'll do it. Absolutely, we're going to do it. All right, let's see what's all in here. First, of course, because the weather's supposed to be getting a little colder, sweater. Keith Mitchell, not the only one rocking cashmere. Uh -huh. See? He doesn't rock it. Wait, there's some. Hold up. What the heck is this? We got a gnome. What? We got what? A, a spatula. Why do you? What you carrying a spatula for? <laughs> what? Yeah, he got a... What are you making? He got a bike pump. He got a bike pump, like a tire bike okay. pump in here. I don't hey, I don't think you can pump up golf balls, man. They still not going to float. Are we making flapjacks? What do we do? I don't know what he's got what? in here. He got a uh sunscreen? Oh no. Oh, it is a no. Oh no. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is not an official Augusta Masters gnome, so this is probably going to be escorted off of property as soon as we finish. We have bootleg gnomes, a spatula. <laughs> yeah, we got some po microwave popcorn, and I, I don't know if you notice, ain't no microwaves. There's no microwaves out on the golf course. Look, guests are coming to grab a club right now. Okay. Uh, what else we got? We got to have some real good stuff. Oh, okay. We got uh, hydration packs. That's important. Important. Yep. Salad tongs. Apparently, they're trying to stay healthy right. out there. Well, that's that goes with the spatula. We're just going to have a four-course meal. Now, here's the important stuff. All right. Rain pants. Yep. Rain sleeve. No, this short sleeve rain jacket. Oh yeah, the big one. The rain cover for the bag. That's another. That's a big one too. We gotta have and, one extra towel. And this is all on you. As the caddy, it's on you to make sure that everything, you gotta make sure that, that the bootleg dome, the spatula, the tongs, the, the, the cashmere, that, you, that's on you, that's your job. You know, because if the weather gets nasty and you got a rain delay and your player asks you for the microwave popcorn, right. not sure how they're gonna cook it, you better have it. Oh, that, that's important, you better care. He even got, look, <laughs> if the rain delay's long, got a little coffee. I don't know where you're gonna find a Keurig. <laughs> look at, for breakfast. <laughs> Who carries Tabasco sauce? The golf? I mean, come on, what? Keep it spicy. I yeah, like it. Yeah, who you saying not hot? I got you hot right here. Look, he makes him carry even. See, now this is another important thing. Why would you carry an empty plastic Ziploc bag? I'll tell you why. Because when it starts raining, this is where you want to keep the golf gloves. Uh, yeah, that's right. It's going to keep the golf gloves dry. See, good if you're, caddy. But sir, no joke. Like, obviously, we've got some plants in here. Not, but, but if... If every if your guy asks you, well, uh, oh, okay, yep, folds of honor, baby. That's how we roll. God bless hey, the U.S. Captain America. If your man asks you for the hot sauce, you need to have the hot sauce. Your guy asks you, <laughs> like you, the, you better not. The answer better not be, I did forgot to put it in the bag. Exactly right. Okay. Listen, if your guy says we're in a rain delay that we're gonna open up a car wash and we're gonna be wax cleaning cars, I'm gonna have that too. <laughs> Who ain't prepared? Who's not prepared? How, if, it, if we're going straight to a dinner after the fact, yeah. and you gotta be prepared. Guess what? We're gonna bust out a master's tie. I'm gonna have that ready too. Well, right. Even good. though I don't know, Patrick said the first time he won the masters, he still didn't know how to tie a tie. So somebody might have to tie this for him. Well, champion, champions dinner was on Tuesday. Obviously, he would have been there enjoying the uh, the ribeye that Scotty served up. In all seriousness, how many golf balls for a, a given round would you put in there? You're not going. A, a professional's not expecting you to lose. Any, maybe right. one, but I mean, how many would you have per round? Yeah, and for the rain, it doesn't really matter. I usually, my guys were a little superstitious. One of the guys I caddy for had to have nine golf balls. We always had to start with nine. Okay. That was like the number. Now, Patrick, his number's higher. Like you said, you're not going to go through quite as many golf balls, but 12. 12 is the number for Patrick Reed that has to be in the golf bag. 
all the time. Tell Patrick we said thanks for letting us uh, sift through his bag. Please replace uh, all gnomes, spatulas, and tongs. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.